All right, how's it going you guys? It's Nick here, and this time I'm actually alone, but I'm gonna be doing three days of backpacking in the Linville Gorge. Come back, took a few days off, as I said, gonna be doing a few days out here, and uh, yeah, just parked at Wolf Pit, and headed up towards short off right now and it's kind of cloudy out but it seems like a nice day it's like 65 degrees and it's 8 30 in the morning on june 27th all right catch you later lake james down there and then of course you can see the other mountain range over there but uh I just want to say when you you know hiking and stuff make sure you're not just looking at the trail I know it can be um, that's the word I'm looking for <laughs> I know it could be hard not to but just remember like you know you might be going on uneven terrain you know loose or whatever but you gotta look around you to see stuff that you might be missing. Especially like that view. It's not too good now, but over there at that little cutout, it was absolutely amazing. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this stuff. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <clears throat> so I was here in February with a couple of buddies of mine and we went backpacking back here. We went from Wolf Pit, followed the MST to Table Rock, and then on to um, Oxbill. So from then to now, it's like absolutely amazing how much this place has changed. The, when we came through here, it was just barren. There was nothing, like no vegetation at all. And now I'm walking along short off and it's just, you can't see around the bend in the trail. It's nice and shaded, wicked cool. I'm still sweating, but it actually feels pretty nice. But man, this is nice. Plus once you get up here on top of short off, it's uh it's really easy hiking until you start going down and that's what I'll be doing this time so last time we followed the MST all the way to Table Rock as I just mentioned well on the way like I said earlier you know keep your head up don't always be looking at the trail because the last time we missed a double blaze we ended up going like quarter of the way down the Cambrick Trail before realizing what we'd done, checking our map, turning around and going back. Well this time, I'm going all the way down to the Cambrick Trail, down to the river, and there I'm going to cross the river and either go up Pynchon and follow the ridge until the Conley Cove Trail and I go back down to the river and find a campsite around there or I'm gonna follow the Linville Gorge Trail to the Conley Cove Trail and find a you know campsite around there I guess I'll decide when I cross the river but no matter what I'm planning on camping near the Conley Cove Trail because what I would like to do is hike to the waterfall and check it out because I've never seen it. Me and my wife did a day hike uh, on table up Table Rock and to the chimneys at the beginning of last month. And you know, I, st I still haven't been down to the river. This is my third time being here. So yeah, head down to the river, find some cool camp spots around there. And uh, yeah, 
we'll see. I got a question for you guys. I don't know how well you can see this because I'm standing in the light. All right, so this stuff, it's got like red, little red barbs. Look a little fuzzy. Um, yeah, it's some kind of plant. I keep seeing it all over the trail. I have no idea what it is. If it's harmful to people, if it'll cause a rash. Um, yeah, if you're watching this and, and you know what it is, can you just leave it in the comments below? Cause I'd like to know if I need to watch out for it next time I'm here or what? Cause to me, it looks pretty gnarly. So I'm in between short off and the chimneys and I just came to the section where it splits off down the uh, MST and then down the Cambridge Trail. So as I was saying earlier, keep your head up because you'll miss them double blazes and you'll do like I did last time and instead of going down there towards saddle camp and the chimneys, you go the way that I'm about to go now and go down Cambridge Trail. So I just noticed my GoPro's probably not gonna be able to pick it up, but I can definitely hear the river now. Um, I'm getting pretty close, but the terrain just keeps getting steeper. Like I just came from up there, came down. But man, this trail is gnarly. If you ever come down here, you definitely have to watch your footing. There's down trees everywhere and some places it's oh, a little hard to see the trail but yeah not too bad almost to the bottom all right i finally made it to flat ground i'm beat my knees are pretty tired in my feet that was one rough hill um down here is pretty sick though this would be a really nice camp spot down here. So, it's time to cross the river. After walking around for a minute to pick uh, the best place to go, I found what looks like where everybody else goes. So, I put on my Crocs, and it's time to get in the river. And then I'm crossing, I'll see if I can see it in a moment once I'm out here in the actual river because now I'm crossing onto once I cross I'm gonna be on the Linville Gorge Trail and that was what I wanted so I'm gonna walk along here and then probably cross where it's slow and then right over there just after that big rock is uh, what looks like a good place to get out What's going on? I just took a, my, I don't know, half an hour break or so. Ate some Sour Patch Kids. Um, had most of this little bag of jerky I brought. If you haven't had jalapeno jerky yet, um, I really like jalapenos. All right. Somebody left their shoes. How'd they walk out of here? Taking a quick break, check out the river. And the Linville Gorge Trail is absolutely like not fun <laughs> at all. It is so overgrown. I am like, I wish I would have brought a machete or something. Like I feel like I'm in the jungle in South America trying to hunt down some like Amazonians for their lost gold like it is absolutely ridiculous so I'm gonna keep hiking and tomorrow what I'm gonna do is I'm definitely not going down the Linville Gorge Trail again I am going to go up Conley Cove and then cross 
that uh, the western rim and then I'm gonna probably go down Pynchon and get back on the Linville Gorge Trail for the shortest amount of time and yeah we'll see I don't I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the falls with how thick this growth is like it is absolutely insane look at this massive dead tree that thing is freaking huge all this bark is falling off still going at it I think I got like a mile left until I hit the Conley Cove Trail then I'll definitely find somewhere to set up camp I'm tired and super hot and it's just so humid in these woods but yeah that's what I gotta go to through next fun all right see ya day one's complete Got my campsite, just hung uh, my bear bag line. So when I'm done eating, I can just go throw it up there. Probably gonna try and start a little fire. Got the tent all set up. Sleeping pad inflated. And the uh, sleeping bag lofting. I'm trying to dry out my stuff from how much sweat I did. Hey, good morning, you guys. Just, uh, just waking up. It's like 6.30. And man, I slept good last night. I just got that Neo Air X-Lite. That thing is freaking awesome. I had, like, the Pro Light, I think, before. And that was pretty good, too. Um, but I don't know. That... The X light is absolutely amazing, but I am tired still. Like my legs are pretty sore. So I think the plan for today is going to be I'm going to go check out Spence Ridge or where Spence Bridge used to be to see maybe I can cross it there. And then go up and go back to Table Rock and through the chimneys and stuff because that area is really cool. Or I'm going to go up Conley Cove and go across, I think it's called Rock Jock. And then down Pynchon and camp somewhere over there. That way I'm pretty close to my car. So I can take off early tomorrow and get back home. So I was just sitting here in my pop tart. I looked at my phone, see what time it was, and I noticed the date. Well, today marks <laughs> seven years that I've been in the Marine Corps. Like I left seven years ago today for boot camp. That's like that's just crazy. Seems like a long, long time ago. Not seven years. But yeah. This is where the bridge used to be. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it sucks right there. was when I was eating breakfast and today is my seven year mark in the Marine Corps. So a lot has happened. First of all, I'm not staying for a second night. I'm headed to my car right now. I'm on Little Table Rock, headed up to Table Rock 
and then I'll follow the MST to Wolf Pit. Well, <laughs> it's kind of funny now, but at the time, <laughs> it was pretty scary. Ooh. <laughs> that was a close one. Guess I should play a little bit more of the trail. But, uh, yeah, so, nice little river or a creek. Anyway, um, so yeah, this morning I was eating my Pop Tarts. I was planning on just hanging out at camp for a couple hours, taking off at like 9.30, packing up and all that stuff, and going up Conley Cove to the ridge on the western side. Check that out, because I've never been there. Well, I was sitting there listening to a podcast and reading when I heard a noise to my right. Well, <laughs> there, 20 feet from me, standing just inside the little camp spot, was a black bear. So, <laughs> I got up, started waving my arms, trying to make myself as big as possible, and yelling at it, you know, just making as much noise as I could. Well, he didn't want to leave. He was staying. He kept inching his way forward. And while facing him, I was backing up because I didn't want to get any closer. Well, he wasn't leaving, so I backed up down the trail. And when he was out of sight, I took off running. And, man, I'm so thankful for these three dudes who were camping um, up river from me because they helped me out, they came back with me, and they were banging their pots and pans, and he ran the bear, but the damage had already been done. He had grabbed my food bag, which I had taken down for breakfast, and just ripped it to shreds. <laughs> Ate a pop package of Pop Tarts and uh, trail mix. So, I think some Sour Patch Kids. He tore the bag up pretty good, but I don't know if any were missing. I wasn't counting. So we get back down to my campsite, and you know, I told them, like, hey, I'm gonna come pack up, hang out with you guys for a minute before I take off. Well, they went back to their campsite and I was packing my stuff up because, you know, I want to get out of there. The bear was still in the immediate vicinity. And all of a sudden I hear them yelling with their pots and pans and I just packed my stuff up quicker. Well, when I got back to them with all my stuff, they told me after leaving my site, the bear circled around and went to their site and started going through their stuff. So they called it, they, you know, got them to go off again. But man, what a morning. That was, that was absolutely insane that that happened. Because from what I've seen, and what I've been told from people is black bears are petrified of people for the most part. Once you start making noise and stuff where they see you, they usually just run away. Well, this one was determined to get some food. So yeah, I just uh, hiked up Spence Ridge after crossing where the bridge used to be. And yeah, headed home. So I made it up. I'm about to hit the chimneys, taking a break, <clears throat> eat some uh, some trail mix and stuff. But I've got this awesome view, and every time I come out to the chimneys, this is just absolutely amazing. Like man, this place is just too cool. And the trail goes along the ridge over there. 
Came a long way though. River's right down there. Whew. Almost through the chimneys. There's Table Rock. All right, headed down off the chimneys and been going down for a little while. Just past a ton of blueberry bushes. Oh, there's some there. Not quite ready yet. Probably in a week or two. But uh, yeah, pretty soon be heading down a super long downhill that leads to uh, saddle camp or it might just be really close to saddle camp. It's hard to tell on the map. <clears throat> but man, this exposed walk, it's hot. There's Table Rock and then the chimneys next to it. But yeah, getting it done. I forget how much more I have. Probably like I don't know, four miles or so. Don't hold me by it, because I honestly I don't know. <laughs> I I just have no clue. But be climbing down this and then up that right there for crossing all that on short off. All right, see you later. And this is what I'm working with for trail right now. Um, so, so yeah, this isn't as bad as the Linvo Gorge Trail, but some of the stuff's pretty thick. Um, yeah, and I just bent the crap out of my trekking pole. So it looks like I'll be getting new trekking poles. And if, uh, if you watched my video from the last time I was here, you'll see that in February, this place was absolutely barren. Like, there was no growth. All it was was a bunch of burnt down trees. Everything was dead. Well, it's coming back quick. complete that way is the Cambrick trail that way short off and that way is table rock and chimneys oh well back there short off I started my descent there's only been a, another couple good views but this is this is just really cool it almost looks like a uh, like a panoramic with how the earth comes down and then goes up you know so I thought that was cool and uh, yeah so trips almost over Not much more left. Just, just over a mile to the uh, car and then it's on to find something to eat I don't know where yet but I'll find something and uh, hey just in case you were wondering, um, unfortunately I didn't get a chance to snag a video of the bear. I wish I did, but you know, at times like that, you kind of just <laughs> try and get out of there because you don't want to mess with them. So if you would like to see, I did manage to grab a picture of them with my phone just before I left. Um, so go, I'll leave the link in the description down below uh, to my Instagram. If you want to go check out the bear, that's where you'll find uh, the picture at. Alright, it's been a fun trip. A lot of unexpected things. I just saw a couple snakes on the trail. I hate snakes. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, hey, until next time, take it easy.